Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be painting up Confederate skirmishers. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and let's get into it. So the beauty of the Confederates, especially their skirmishers, is you have a whole variety of different colour schemes that you can do. Um, I mean you've got the butternuts, you've got grey, you've got blues, reds, basically they wore pretty well whatever they could get their hands on. I've heard some people describe the Confederates as looking almost like scarecrows. Um, <laughs> so, and that's uh, Confederate skirmishers looking like scarecrows with slouch hats and all sorts. So really your imagination can go wild. For these ones, I've started off with a bit of a mixture. Some of them I've used uniform gray from War Painter to pick out the jackets and or the trousers. Uh, then I've used leather brown from Game Color to do trousers and or jackets. Um, so I've done a bit of a mixture for these guys just to try and get that sort of ad hoc sort of feel. Equally though, if you're a bit of a the sort of person that likes everything to be uniform, you could easily just paint them all exactly the same and there'd be nothing wrong with that. I just went for a bit of a, a change of pace as usually I am that sort of person. I like my parade ground formations, but for skirmishers I thought I would... Uh, Give them a bit of a bit of freedom. Then for the final guy, I decided I would give him a white shirt, just kind of like the uh, the uh, the painting <laughs> at the start of the video. There was a chap in a white shirt, so I figured I would do this one uh, to sort of represent him. I was thinking about maybe doing um, sort of a checkered shirt, but then I just figured no, that's a bit too much, uh, too much work. <laughs> so I moved on to doing this chap with the light blue sort of trousers that you would see with the Union. Uh, in this case, I've used magic blue from Game Color, and the white, I should say, sorry, was dead white from Game Color. For the muskets or rifles, I've gone with leather brown and I've mixed a bit of chocolate brown into it just to give us a bit of a, a change of coloration on that. And so, yeah, it came with a, a sort of a nice deep but still light brown. Next, we do the boots um, and we just used game color black. Uh, this has a little bit of gloss to it. So it works quite nicely on your leather patch, uh, pouches and boots. And also, I guess, the visor on the caps as well. Next up, we've got the, the metalwork. And so for that, we've gone with Game Color Silver. As I've said in some of my other videos, yes, it is a bit bright, but by the time you put your wash on and at the smaller scale, you do want things to stand out a little bit more than perhaps at the larger. Um, that said, when I was in the cav, our sword scabbards were silver, basically, um, and you had to polish them up and make them look immaculate. So actually having quite bright scabbards isn't necessarily out of the, the realms of reality. Um, yeah, we used to get picked up and told off if there were marks on it, so it had to be immaculately polished. So I would imagine in at least some units, they would have similar sort of standards. Anyway, onto the flesh, and we've gone for Tamiya Color Flat Flesh. With this paint, just make sure that you sort of keep, keep it uh, slightly moist. I use a little bit of Flow Aid, which I mix in, otherwise it does dry out quite quickly. Then after that's done, I would then give the miniatures a, a wash. The wash I use is a mixture of Liquitex Flow Improver and Matte Medium mixed with one drop of black and one drop of chocolate brown. And that just gets in kind of like an Agrax Earth Shade, dulls everything down and puts a nice bit of depth into the miniatures. And then I come back with the same colors as before and just do the highlighting. Highlight the blue, the browns, the whites, um, and just pick out those edges. 
sort of game because of the scale you don't need to really kick the arse out of it just go the pieces that you think you need to just the sharp edges really who knows I don't really pick out the metal work once I go back over it because the wash has dulled it down to the level that I'm happy with but you could if you wanted to The uh, leather brown again, just going over the, the brown fabric. Now for his sash, I've gone with red. The red that I've used is dried blood from Game Color. No, yeah, Game Color, sorry. Uh, and it works quite nicely. <clears throat> and then for all of the uh, cap badges and markings on like cartouche boxes, buttons, etc. We're just using game colour bright bronze. And then that brings us around pretty well full circle to our chaps ready for the tabletop. These were quite a fun base to paint up. Uh, I will probably in due course add a few extra bits and pieces to the bases uh, just to finish them off. But yeah, enjoyable project. I hope you got something good from it. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe and leave me some comments below. And until next time, stay safe.